holes are a reflection of who we are and what we value. Here at Torre Lorenzo, we are constantly keeping track of what you value. That's why we carefully plan our residential developments to cater to your particular needs, making sure our investors and residents will constantly feel safe, secure, and comfortable in their homes. Atelier Armarlo, led by the talented Almarlo sisters, Ivy and Cynthia, the most sought after interior designers in the country, are renowned for creating impactful design solutions. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi. Very exciting today, I. We're, we're going to share a lot of design tips mm -hmm. on how they can maximize their small spaces. So let's start. Cool. Personalize your space with Ivy and Cynthia Almario. How okay, to maximize you? Uh, yeah, we're going to give you a lot of tips to maximize small spaces through clever design solutions while staying true to your personal style, even on a budget. So we'll start giving the design tips. Next slide. Our favorite design tip is up. I number one is. Mirrors. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> Mirrored walls. Use large mirrors on walls where spaces feel small and cramped to bring in more light and an illusion of a bigger space. You can also play around with the shapes and sizes of the mirrors. So here we're showing you that um, the first wall, as you enter a room, the most visible wall is usually the wall that you should mirror because then it truly doubles up the space and the light is just reflected through the mirror. Right, Cynthia? Right. Also, I've, yeah. um, our favorite um, dining room trick also, we normally um, mirror our dining room walls <clears throat> because it doubles up the space and it's good feng shui for our audience to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But if you ask us why is it good food choice? Because food uh, always is about prosperity. So if you eat well, if you have food, that means you have a prosperous life. And mirroring it just doubles you. Double doubles the luck. Okay, next slide. Another one is accentuating the walls. So uh, we can do that by doing three things: applying paint wallpaper, or artwork. So next slide. This is our favorite, using paint, because it's very inexpensive, it's easy, and if just in case you choose the wrong color, it's easy to buy another pint of paint to correct the color. So here on the left side, uh, we are showing two shapes, a round and a rectangular graphic accent that mimics the carpet in front. So it's very exciting because um, it became a gallery wall as well as a very graphic wall for the desk, right, Ives? Because they yeah. can start putting artwork and customizing the space. And on the right side is, if you don't really have money for interior architecture, they just put an architrave, this architectural detail that actually gave interest to the space. And again, of course, because you try to multi-use the space, we again um, introduced some shelves, shelving units. So it doubles as a gallery wall as well as um, I shelf for bookcase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next slide is, um, of course, murals and uh, wallpaper. If you wanted a tropical feel in your house, just uh, use a uh, wallpaper that depicts um, oversized leaf. And if you want to be more modern and more tailored, on the left side is just a uh, faux marble. And of course, the next slide is artwork. We highly encourage all of you, because of limited space, to use a big artwork, right? I to make it more yes. impactful. Yes. Yes. Right. So there we have uh, samples of a black and white artwork. You can start using color uh, just to make your space more interesting. The next design tip is we have to talk about storage spaces. There. Yeah. Yes, right. I think that this was the next slide. Yes. It's about storage. Ah, we lost the covered page. Okay, no worries. 
so um, the thing about condominium living, the thing about living in tiny spaces, is the clever way you can concoct ways to have organized storage that's hidden, clean storage that's like bookshelves. And uh, if you can combine bookshelves with lighting, like on the fourth screen, fourth slide, uh, fourth image on the right most, then that's even better because you get ambient lighting at night. So I'll start from the first picture on the left. Huh? Okay, that's so clever because if you close the door, it's so clean, you just see your television. But when you open that door, wow, you can store all sorts of books and gizmos and things you don't want to necessarily see, but you cannot give away or but that you need access to. So when you fold that door, that's a very slick trick. The next one is something that Cynthia and I always love to do. We always love to put bookshelves in rooms because bookshelves achieve two things. They are storage at the same time. It's organized storage because you could exactly see the things that you put there. And like this picture, if you do it well, it's also like kinetic art. No, there's a rhythm. There's, there's a series of your eye undulates and it really makes the room quite impactful. The third slide, well, not a slide, the third picture rather shows you how you can introduce, imagine you can have drawers sa ilalim ng bed and then more drawers sa ab above pa. So this is talaga namang ano, using every single inch of the space, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, and the last one is the more elegant, ano, it's really the more elegant way to do a bookshelf where you, you introduce indirect lighting. Um, this one is a bit more bespoke. So, um, I guess this is it for this tip. <laughs> the, next, the next tip is using, next slide, please. Partitions. You should prefer, prepare your song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, song and dance number. Uh, yes. This is very important, especially if you're living in a studio, because you also want to create zones. No? So, next slide, please. One of the creative ways on dividing a space is by using a glass partition. Yeah. Glass partition is very good to use because it doesn't visually cut the space, no? I? But at yeah, the same true. time, it creates two zones. But I know yeah. naman, um, sometimes um, glass partitions are not possible because of the space constraints, constraints. as well as the budget. So we can, go, yeah, we can go to the next slide. We use curtains. Curtains are highly recommended as well because um, first, you can remove it, no? Um, so once you get sick and tired of the curtain, um, you can change it into another fabric. Or else if you want to clean it, then it, it's very, very easy to do. But in this picture, we actually have a glass partition and a sheer curtain. So what's nice about this is another person can be in the bedroom and just draw the curtains draw the and curtains. you feel be entertaining your friends without bothering the person who wants to sleep. So in limited areas, you also have to have multi-functions. If somebody wants to entertain, they can do so because you really created a zone that actually- Privacy. Yeah, you, you're able to create privacy just by doing this curtain, no? I, and then if you yes, want Cynthia. to captive, capture the space again, all you have to do is draw the curtain. So I think we're ready for design tip number five. Okay, <laughs> sign tip number five. <laughs> okay, I didn't prepare my poem. Oh, there it is. <laughs> area rugs. Okay, area rugs. A good area rug should tie the space together through the right size, shape, and color. It can also become a focal point, a great way to emphasize the main part of your small space. So, um, just like in the picture, this graphic area rug really draws your eye and it really warms up the room. Next slide, please. So my favorite part, right? we're going to talk about furniture. Yes. So oh, furniture, okay, <laughs> cool. Use furniture wisely. So my first design tip is, next slide, please. It's use furniture that have different functions. The very first slide on the left, 
we're showing a coffee table and some Ottoman under it. So once, um, once you open the coffee table, there's storage space, you can see inside, and then you can actually have the Ottomans drawn out and you can even eat here. So it's like cool. really triple function. And again, wow. of course, we want for you to use round shapes or east edges, not bulky furniture, because you really want your eyes to travel and you really want the furniture to breathe. Um, the close. middle picture, yeah, shows that although it's a tight space, the furniture is just the right scale and the right size. And really your, your eyes just are easy, oh. uh, you know, your eyes flow. And then of course, the third is the material, glass or mirrored pieces, of course, again, doubles up the space. It's reflective. It's very um, interesting. And again, it reflects the furniture in your studio. As you can see here, the, the sofa is being reflected in the console. Next slide, please. Our favorite. Oh, Cynthia's favorite <laughs> all time. Okay. <laughs> Accessorize. <laughs> you can already begin to see by the picture on the left, no? When you accessorize, sky's the limit. So um, this is what will give your home personality. It's the small details, the cushions and throw on the bed, the centerpiece on the dining room table, works of art, plants, large and small, they all add the life to your condominium unit or to your place. So and different shapes, no, sis? Yeah, and it doesn't have to be expensive, eggs, no? You know, just get fresh flowers, just yeah. uh, change your pillows. If you have a favorite scarf, yes. you can just drape it on the sofa. I mean, you know, very exactly. creative things that can make your home, person, your personality. Personalized. Yes. It's like your True. personality. So next time. This is more exciting. Application. <laughs> this is, this is uh, reality for them. We are going to apply all the design tips that we just mentioned earlier on the actual space. So next slide. Drum roll. Da, 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 da. <laughs> this is our um, color board for the studio unit. Again, uh, we used all of the design elements that we um, mentioned earlier. We used a mirror. We used glass curtains to um, divide the space. We used paint and shelves and we used a lot of storage. So all of this can be applied in the studio unit that you're going to see next. So this is the floor so plan. Of the this studio. is the floor plan of the studio unit. As soon as you enter on your left, you have the shower, the loo, the water closet, and on the right is the kitchenette. And then, of course, directly in front, you have your closet, a desk, a bed, a side table, and a dinette for two. So really, everything you need to function every day is here. A place to sleep, a place to dine, and then a place to do your work or your homework. So this is the uh, studio unit floor plan for Tori residential studio. Next slide, please. This is really based on uh, an actual studio unit. So, but then the request for here was not to do a single bed. They wanted to do a queen, right? Right, right. And then um, the other thing was, uh, they wanted there was a, a seat, space. No? Yeah, there was a space to have a long window seat. So this one shows that uh, we walk the talk, yes. We are going to do the graphics, the round circle draws your eye to the bookshelves so that we could conceal the AC unit a little bit. You don't want the AC unit right smack in your face. So as much as possible, if you can actually conceal it like the way we are attempting to do here, then it's just part of a vignette, right, Sin? Right, and also Ives, if you notice, um, the bed also has storage like the one that we showed yeah. in the previous slide so you can actually put your beddings there as and well as some clothes and again as well as the day bed day bed right Tim? yeah and also i have the the nesting table you can just put mm -hmm. that all around no it can nest on the bed it can nest on the yeah. window seat 
and it can also Correct. go to the living room. This time, what we showed is a glass partition because it actually mm -hmm. had a space to do that, no? Yeah. yeah. So the next slide will show you what we did there. Okay. Uh, across the wall eyes, now we again use the mirror. Yeah. yeah, that's so that you could check out yourself. Uh, any, any, any little bit of space you try to capture. So we had like maybe a, a 10 inch space at the corner of the, of the uh, it's not the day bed, of, what, the bench, right? So right. we captured that so you could again have bookshelves. Yeah. And then we're showing a seat table and right. a small bench, right, sis, for a yes. catch all. Catch and all. then the television, what we usually do is we paint it a bold color so that, well, it's not a bold color. We usually paint it charcoal so that when we stick the black TV, it doesn't kind of like get seem like it's off, right, Then Yeah, yeah and so it's, it's like a piece of um, artwork as well, no, I? Where yes. um, because uh, it just disappears on the wall, yes. and, then, and then of course we have the shelves uh, again for more Bunch storage of. and display. True, right? And then of course uh, we're showing the glass partition. Yeah, which can easily be curtains. Correct. Yeah. So every available uh, surface you have to use, no? I. <laughs> yes. True. <laughs> <laughs> Even behind you, you can just you know. So this is the color board for the two bedroom unit. Um, the colors are all seen. How would you describe your colors for the two bedroom? It's very unit? cool, I just mm, cool, cool okay. tones. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because um, we can, as you can see, you know, in the L-shaped sofa, I we just put yes. the accents on the pillows. So right. least, um, yeah. So we just wanted the space to be more spacious. So we just used one color from the bedroom to the living room. So you're gonna and see in the perspective. Okay. <laughs> oh, first, Ivy will talk about the floor plan. So, okay. As soon as you enter, there is, uh, because it's a two bedroom unit, we had to, well, the developers placed the other bathroom outside. Uh, the second bathroom is the one that's in suite. And then you're seeing a kitchenette and uh, sitting area, a dining area two twin beds, and that looks like a full bed, right, Sin? A full bed for the- For the master. And twin and beds the, for- and, yeah. Yes. But mm -hmm. I know we, full, we we played around with this layout. I think what we're showing is the uh, developer's layout. Hmm, not sure. But then again, let's see what we're showing in the perspective. There. Right. See, so if the, there's a- uh, there's a bit of a disconnect it's because we played around with the uh, with the floor plan so anyway uh, uh, what you're seeing here is if you use one color for instance we put a, a nice to this is this a top or a grade so we put a nice grade color all over and it ma makes the the unit very handsome you know i mean it's just it, it's just contemporary it's just clean uh there's nothing much you could do uh, you, you always inherit the kitchen that they give you. But after the backsplash, what we usually do is if you have the budget for it, just stick a piece of mirror behind that so that it, it's a total upgrade to your kitchen. Right. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so also, we're um, sure, yeah, go ahead. This is a lot of storage, no? And the yes, kitchen, true. That's our right. add-on already. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And you can begin to say, uh, to see the, you know, the open legs of the furniture. So your eyes really float around the space. So next slide, please. Wow, dreamy. So <laughs> we chose a wallpaper. We chose a wallpaper that graphically feels like you're in a draped area of the room, right? Where right. actually it's not, it's not. And then when the sun enters that space and lights it up, you really feel that you have sheer curtains around. It's a nice eye trick. Uh, like what we're saying um, with the furniture. Sin, you want to yeah. talk about your furniture? Yeah. Um, okay, because the, the desk here um, also can double up as the vanity table for the lady in the house to put her makeup on. And uh, of course, underneath the bed, again, are, is a storage unit. And um, 
the next slide will show more shelves. We create this is for the twin room. room. Twin room, yeah. Yeah, so this is for the twin again. Room. I we had an eight inch um bookshelf, no? Yes, we were able to just um capture so they can at least put picture frames, some of their books, some of their vases, yes, wedding right. photos. Yeah. And again, the mirror. So um, it doubles up as the mirror for full length mirror. Full length mirror when you dress up. But here, at least, we have um, a big desk. Yeah. That they the can teacher. also put their television. And oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And then again, a storage space that was created beside the desk. And then if you notice, Ivy, we always put the bookshelves. Full All height. the way to the ceiling, yeah. Yeah, because it gives yeah. the space verticality. It makes True. the room seem higher. So right. that's another design trick that we did. Yeah. Yeah. When in doubt, go full height. <laughs> yeah, you really have to. <laughs> it really just makes everything better. Yeah. Um, so we were able to do vertical storage, open and close storage. You were able to maximize space uh, between the desk closet and column and of course the mirror is always there both as a function and as an accessory next slide please oh okay <laughs> so yeah uh, the, the, so, uh well at our atelier uh everything starts with a sketch so this was just a sketch when you were trying to see if uh, by using certain wall spaces as an accent or choosing matching furniture styles and patterns or maximizing storage such as built-ins, you can inject your own character in style to any space. So this was the, our first presentation to them, I think, when we were trying to tell them how we were going to attack the, uh, right, right. the studio space, right? right. Yeah. And of course, Ivy, they, um, they shouldn't also be afraid of color, but they yeah. just know how to strategically locate the color. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you're going to use color, own it. Yeah, own it. But um, just, just uh, no, just think that of course you have a limited space. And like here, what we're showing are bright scaled furniture. You know, it might seem counterintuitive, but we highly encourage all of you to use the right scale of furniture. You know, just few furniture, you like here, it's the sofa, a lounge chair, and a coffee table, rather than all of this small furniture that will, can really just clog the space and not even um, serve you well, both function and use, right, I? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Cynthia, right. You caught me there. I was drinking water. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what's next? <laughs> the next is our coat. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> All righty. Okay. So for me, just because a place is tiny, do not make the mistake of downsizing the furniture and scaling it down so it looks like it's meant for a dollhouse because it this will just make the space look odd. Instead, select slim, well-proportioned furniture. And like we said in the very first slide, reflect. Make use of mirrors to do the trick to double the space. That will yield a better result. That's my code. Thank you. And my code is very light. I can't read it. <laughs> Use furniture that offers maximum functionality. Pieces that um, serve, serve multi multiple purpose, like the sofa being a bed, a coffee table with storage, Nesting table with pull out Ottomans. Um, <laughs> I will uh, do. <laughs> you, you also said sis, use space if you want to refresh yeah. a room and change right. your accent pillows. Because if you, you want, write your mind, yeah, that's the yeah. cheapest way to upgrade the yes. space. You know? um, if you want to feel the holiday spirit this coming Christmas, just you know, change your throw pillows to a more festive color. Um, if you also have area carpets that's not so big, you can just throw it in. And again, just personalizing your space with whoever you are, you know? It can be like 
dressing up ay no like the scarves mm. that they have they can even mm. just make a throw pillow or else yeah. put it as an accent in the chair and then of course lots of plants um if just in case they they don't have they're not blessed with green thumbs you can use uh, very nice looking artificial flowers just to brighten up the room just you know just to make sure it's cozier and uh yeah cozier <laughs> and more personalized as we mentioned earlier so <laughs> that's what we have so i hope you learned a lot and uh, we're looking forward to answering your questions wow Later. thank you yeah.